All right, Workout Worthy, welcome to our March Midsection Meltdown Challenge. Today is day number 27. We have five days left of March, and I want them to be amazing. Subscribe to this channel and check the description below. If you have a Facebook account, request to join my Aspen Champions Facebook group, where I provide daily tips, tricks, motivation, inspiration, accountability, and just support to live a healthy, effective, enjoyable lifestyle. If you don't have a Facebook page, request to join my email list so I can send all that information directly to your inbox. Now for day 27, we are doing 28 repetitions of our basic crunches, reverse crunches, and double crunches. We are adding five seconds to our plank, so we are up to 85 seconds. Make sure this is your workout. So you choose the exercises, you go through your own range of motion, and you go at your own speed. If the sections are too long, break them up into shorter intervals. You can do less repetitions, take a rest, and then join back in. You can do a shorter plank, take a rest, and then join back in. Let's start with those basic crunches. Coming onto our sit bones. Gonna hold our hamstrings, lay back nice and slow. Fingertips behind our ears, reaching through the crown of our head. Up for two and lower to a hover. Up for two, and lower to a hover. Exhale as we lift, inhale as we lower, contract and control. Reaching through the crown of your head, looking up at the ceiling on an angle, keeping our shoulders low and relaxed, our chin level and our elbows out nice and wide. You can stay at this pace or you can increase. Singles, up, up. Inhale, exhale. No bouncing, no momentum. Even though it's a little more tempo, we're still focused on muscle, not momentum. Inhale, exhale. Belly is sucking in towards our spine. Inhale and exhale. We've got four more basic crunches. Four, three, two, and one. Our next exercise is the reverse crunch. So bend your knees, long, neutral spine still, two counts. Hinge at the hip, contract up. Hinge at the hip, contract up. We're keeping our knees bent, lowering our heels towards the floor. We wanna get as low as we can without touching the floor and without arching our back or straining our back. Protect your spine as we go through this reverse crunch, your own range of motion. Now, even though I'm going at a two count pace, it still might be a little too fast. So go at your own pace. Inhale as you hinge, exhale as you contract. Inhale and exhale. Belly is sucking in towards our spine. Neck is long, shoulders are low. As we start to fatigue, you might need to make your range of motion a little bit smaller. You might need to start to go a little bit slower. And if you need to take a break, go right ahead and join back in when you are ready. We've got eight more strong reverse crunches. Inhale, exhale. Final four, reverse crunch. Same form we had at the beginning of the set. Last two, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Double crunch. So we lower our feet to get in great alignment first, stretching through the crown of your head, reaching up, so your upper body's at that hover to start. Your lower body lifts to the hover. And we're gonna do the first eight nice and slow. Exhale, meeting in the middle. And even though we're meeting in the middle, we still have length down our spine. Well, we're still reaching our head to the wall behind us and gliding up that wall as we do our basic crunch. Your range of motion might be smaller with this extra challenge of doing both at the same time. Exhale, belly is sucking in, elbows are out nice and wide, shoulders low and relaxed. You can stay here or singles. 
contract, control. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Nice and strong, protecting our back, strengthening our entire core. Eight more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Final four. Three, two, one. Reach the arms up overhead. Extend the legs out straight, reaching through your fingers, stretching through your toes. Couple nice deep breaths. Bending your knees, holding your hamstrings, round up. Time for our plank. You wanna be in the hardest position that you can do in good form. And if that means going against the wall, go against the wall. On the floor, you might be on all fours. Position's the same with your shoulders right above your wrist, your head and extension of your spine. A modified plank is a great option right here, or you can lift to your toes. Are we ready? Here we go. Lift and hold. Reaching through the crown of your head, keeping your chin level. So we don't wanna lift our chin, we don't wanna tuck our chin. We're also lifting through the back of our neck so we don't lunge our face towards the floor. Breathing, this is a long interval and we need to breathe the entire time, never holding our breath. Shoulders are low and relaxed. Keep your neck long and lean, especially when you start to get tired, we tend to shrug our shoulders up. We want that length throughout the entire plank. Arms are straight, elbows are soft, pressing the floor away. Really feel that through the pads of your fingers, pads of your palms. Belly button sucks up towards our spine, contracting our core. Kneecaps are lifted and our thighs are sealed if you're still on your toes. If you need to modify, going a little wider with your feet can help you stabilize more. You also can drop to your knees for a modified plank or you can drop to all fours. If your position starts to falter, if your form starts to falter, make sure you modify. 15 seconds left. Breathing. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Soften your knees. Sink it back, extended child's pose, reaching through your fingers, sinking your hips over your heels. Couple of nice deep breaths. Round up. Great job. So today, day 27, we are so close. Make sure, subscribe to this channel and check the description. There's a link to that Facebook group. You will not regret joining Aspen Champions. Tomorrow, we're doing a longer plank and this is the last week, five days. Get today done and commit to the entire rest of the month.